All right, so we're on the way to the event of my buddy Rob, who puts on an event called Taco Tuesday. It's great for entrepreneurs, people who are traveling and just digital nomads. And it's incredible because he's mastered the art of deep relationships. So you might want to know this, how to be able to keep in contact with people over an extended period of time, even if you don't get the chance to see them. How do you have deep connection with people? How do you meet high quality people and invite them to something that they want to be a part of regularly? And also, you're not putting all your energy into it. They're also adding their effort. So it's a compound effort of like-minded people. We're going to break all that down here today in the event. Let's go. So bro, we're at your event, Taco Tuesday, at this uh, beautiful rooftop hotel. How did you come up with the idea for this and what's it about? So um, when I moved here to Medellin a couple years ago, I recognized that I was meeting people all the time. So I was at the gym, I was getting dates, I was meeting people online and I was like, how do I have time to get like a beer or coffee with everyone, right? And you just don't have that kind of time, especially if you're a busy worker, especially if you're traveling, you just don't have time to keep up with people. So what I recognize is that if I host one dinner a week, it allows me to kind of nurture those relationships in a really super organic way. I met someone cool at the gym. Yo, bro, come out, let's have dinner, have tacos, whatever. So that's why I did Taco Tuesday. A couple big reasons for it. Uh, no one ever has real plans on Tuesday. Number two, everyone's got to eat and everyone likes tacos. Number three, it creates a great nurturing ground for you and the people to kind of get to know them in a way that's low stakes. Also, if you don't get, really get along with that person or maybe they're just like not a conversationalist, you can get to know them a little bit better in their vibe, but then also they can make friends with other people. So it's not high stakes of having to go one-on-one. -on -one. Not everyone's comfortable with one-on-one, -on -one, but if you can come eat, man, come have a good time and it's super relaxed. <laughs> Hey, this guy. This guy. How you doing, man? How you looking sharp? Mr. DJ. He's like chill with the glass and the cigarette. Just like chill it, chill it. Hey. Hola. Hola. Are we at the event and I want to talk about a little bit about deeper relationships and what that means and what that looks like. So how do you even do it? How do you have an event like this where like 50 people come out, 30 people come out, 40 people come out, and they're all great, happy to see each other? Now, one of the things is when you have relationships with high value people, you gotta figure out a way to add value into their lives. Too many people never ever stop for a moment and think about the problems of high value people. We're so much caught in the rat race, the nine to five, the crab in a bucket mentality that we forget about people that are high value that can do things for us also have problems. Now, one of the best ways to help out somebody that has high value problems and a high value person is to talk to them about their business, their health, their family, or relationship. Now, if you're listening to me, it's because I help you out in your relationships for many, many years, right? Madison's been helping you out with that. So you're like, you know what? Because of that, you've exchanged lots of value in that area. Madison, one day, I might want to do a program with you, right? That's how it works. So that's one concept. The other concept is getting them on the team of the U Army, right? So there's an army that happens. And how does this work? Now we're at an event with lots of entrepreneurs. There's my friend over here who's a model. There's some other friends over there who are mad cool that are also uh, Ukrainian models. There's some other people over there eating dinner. How do we get people to like, come out to these events? Well, obviously, men like to hang around beautiful women, obviously, and women like to hang around men of ambition and power. To be high value doesn't mean you have to have accomplished a lot. It means on, you're on your path. You can get known for being something, known for being a DJ, knowing for being a cook, known for being something. Thing. Look at you just check it in there. Uh, get known for being something, okay? I mean, if you're known for being something, then other high value people will respect you and say, hey, this guy does XYZ. They'll invite you and say, hey, this is the guy that does uh, great chef. This is the guy that does amazing internet marketing. This is the guy that's a great DJ. They have an excuse or an accomplishment intro. That's the next thing here. Three, an accomplishment intro to give you, to introduce you to other high value people. So when I get introduced to people, sometimes it's like, hey, here's Madison. He's a dating relationship coach, and that's always great. That's fine. But sometimes it's like, hey, here's Madison. He like He's an entrepreneur, and he's well-traveled. He speaks 13 languages, and that's great. And other times, it's the products that I'm working on. So you can always get known for something. There is a reason or something that you can get known for at any time, right? And it helps the accomplishment intro. And again, just go back to the point number two. 
help high value people with their high value problems, add value to their lives. Spend a good quality of your day just doing that. Now, how do I do that? What's a practical step? Let me tell you in a minute. So, continuing the ways to add value to high value people, it's just reaching out. You say, if I reach out, what am I going to say? The idea is you reach out and you try to give them something of value. You help them solve a problem. Now, I know you're like, what the fuck? Other people have problems. Take 20 minutes out of your day. Okay. I call it calling my board of directors or my contacts every day in the morning, 20 minutes. I just dial people and I can see how I can help them. All right. I just call them. Whoever picks up and I say, hey, man, what are you working on this week that I can help you out with? What do you got going on? And maybe there's nothing. The fact that I reached out, sometimes opportunities just come from me reaching out. The other thing is, I'll say, what's going on in your life? Sometimes I'll say nothing. And I was like, all right, you know what? Actually, I got somebody I want you to meet. And I'll connect them to an amazing person who I think they should meet, right? So we're at a party right now. Actually, this is Nico. Nico does uh, sales, head of sales with Max. And sometimes we'll be at a party like this and we'll say, hey, I want you to meet blah, blah, blah. I want you to meet this other guy. And we'll connect people and get them to meet each other at high quality events. Because sometimes if you're a person that has no value, but you just introduce people to other people of value, you are creating value for them. Doesn't mean you have any skills, but you're just networking for them. How can I help other people meet other amazing people that I know? Because people at the top, all these amazing people here, just want to meet other amazing people. And that's why they're here for no scrubs. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be here. You're right. I mean, you know, if I wouldn't have that. It was like yeah. I'm, if you didn't connection like, skill. Yeah, but he wouldn't be here. Or also, he doesn't like me. That's why he wouldn't be here. <laughs> he just doesn't like me unless we helped him out somehow, or he helped us out, or whatever. Right? Mutual things. Actually, he recently gave me some advice for TikToks uh, a few weeks ago, which I will implement on my TikToks. I'm gonna start that as a Thursday. So high value people helping other people have value. That's how we do it. You don't have to necessarily have the skill yourself, but as long as you're willing to look out for them connect to them, call them, check in with them, comment on their Instagram stories, see what they're doing, encourage them, then they will love you for that because everybody else is in a taking mindset and they take mindset. No one's in expansion or giving or we and us mindset, all right? Especially with high value people. Yes, thousand percent, thousand percent, especially with high value people, he said, all right? So we're gonna sign off for now. I got 40 seconds left, 47 seconds left. This is called building the lifestyle. That's what the lifestyle is all about. Friendships, adding value to people's lives, creating amazing events, and making moments and memories together with people that you love. If you want to know more about this, I got something coming, I'm working on very soon coming out. But in the meantime, sign up for my boot camp programs. There's a link down below. The programs now include lifestyle, coming to Oslo, Amsterdam, Austin, Texas, Toronto. Link down below, click it. Sign up for the uh, consultation, ask some questions. It'll be great.